Hi there, it's Jim from Paints, Pots and Paper and Jot's Journals Creations. Um, I thought I'd pop in tonight and just do a flip through of, I've actually completed my two boho art journals. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to go through both of them tonight. Uh, if not, I'll leave one for the next video uh, because it might be too much in one go. Um, but anyway, so I'll start with this one, which I'll call journal number one, and either continue with this one or this one will go on the next video, which will follow shortly. So let's put that over there. Now, these journals, as you know, I've been working on them for some time. Um, I haven't been able to do anything for a while for personal reasons. Um, <clears throat> and if my voice goes a bit strange tonight, I've got uh, sinusitis, so it's a bit... I just thought I'd take the opportunity while I felt a bit better and come and do these. Being as I haven't been here for ages and ages. So I'm going to start. Well, first of all, I'll show you the cover. Um, now, this one I have glazed. I haven't decided whether to glaze the other one or not because although they are both, strange enough, they're almost identical, but they're different. So really, I suppose, a bit like Twin Sisters. Um... They've got their different characters, I suppose, and little different things. Um, they are big girls. Um, there is one signature, but as usual, I got a bit carried away with them. And so there's rather a lot in each one, so... Um, but anyway, I they're, they're a true gator mouth. I knew they would be. Um, not many of my journals aren't, to be honest with you. It's just the way I love to do them. I do like to put as much as I can possibly get into them. Uh, but I do leave, there is always room for more pockets, uh, more journal cards, more tags, more decoration. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, this is the cover. The um, it's a fabric cover, and it's this very um, hippie type fabric, and it is hundred percent cotton, um, and it's embroidered, and it's got little mirror type pieces embroidered onto it. Uh, there's a main picture which is framed in a little wooden frame, which has been, um, I suppose, glazed with like a bronze metallic paint. There's some lovely little daisies and you'll find more flowers throughout the journal. Um, there's a pretty paint palette on the front, uh, a pot, a jar, I suppose a water jar with some paint brushes in it, a butterfly, there's more butterflies throughout as well. Um, the spine has just got these beads attached to it, which are very brightly coloured to go with the cover. Um, the back has got a little disc thing on this one, and uh, you can see more of the actual uh, material that the cover's made of and the trim there's trim at the bottom which as you can probably hear it's got these really pretty hippie type bills on it brightly coloured again to go with the rest so I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside um, it's tied with sari silk and on the front there's a little 
bolt pin just slotted through where it's tied up so it can't come off but you can undo it and take it off if you know what I mean it won't fall off unless you undo it and take it off and there's just a little apple charm on it which I thought was rather pretty and on the sari silk I've got a couple of these they're a bit like the Pandora beads I suppose I don't know what you call them there is a name for these kind of beads but I don't know what it is but anyway I thought they were pretty and the colours go and it gives it a little bit of weight so there we go you'll say they're big girls now this first page is a flip out. Do you know, I never know what a tip-ins, tip-outs, flip-ins and flip-outs, to be honest with you. So you can call them whatever you want to, but I, I call it, I suppose it's a flip-out. I call it a flip-out anyway. And this is uh, coffee dyed and splattered piece of cotton in there. Sorry, not a coffee dyed and splattered piece of cotton. Coffee dyed and splattered sheet of paper for journaling on and stamped with little book images a little tab to open it with on this side it has been uh, embossed with white acrylic paint which you'll see no I didn't take it the way around that, that side's got white acrylic paint embossed on it, which this light isn't terribly good, I'm afraid. I do apologise for that. Um, I'm doing this at night, and if I put the main light on, it strobes too much. So I thought, well, the brighter light would be better. And that opens out, and there's more journaling space. <clears throat> and this is the inside of the cover. And here we've got a really pretty page. With a, it's a tag, it's a little corner pocket, as you can see, with a tag, a little butterfly on it, and that's for writing on the back, obviously. And um, this opens out for another little writing space, little journaling spot, and a little book stamped on it. On the next page, I've got it's all this really pretty uh, stamp area paper. Well, not all of it. Some of it is paper I've decorated myself, and um, some of it is um, digital prints. But the bulk of it is with this stamp area paper, which is absolutely beautiful. And I've got a journaling card there. She's got all these lovely old suitcases on it and a little daisy in the corner. And of course, journaling space on the back. That goes in that little pocket there. In this pocket, we've got a pocket made of Indian material. It's, I think it's from a sari. This paper is a uh, paper that I stenciled on. It's coffee dyed paper and it's been stenciled on uh, and sprayed with... Um, Oh, I think they're Cosmic Shimmer Sprays, but they're iridescent. That's a really pretty pocket. And inside the pocket, we've got this little tag journaling card. It is, that one's quite firm. That's uh, a chipboard piece. There's a tag, which has been stenciled and stamped on the back. A lovely little lace tab on the top. There's two little spare tags that I haven't decorated, but that can be written on the back and uh, you can decorate them how you want to and put little tags in the top if you want to or tabs. There are govern tabs and tags, I don't know which is which. This is a a little booklet that opens out. And I hope I'm close enough, or you're close enough, should I say? Just bring you down a bit, a bit far away there. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. It's just a little book that I've made. With a little jewel dangly thing on it. And inside, it's there's more journaling space. Or you can draw in it. If you want to do it, it's quite some of it is quite strong paper. Well, it's more of a carbon in pink, really. And it's just a pretty bit of, um, I think it's uh, gel printing, but it was already uh, printed out, if you know what I mean. And then there's the other sides of the papers. Nice little book for writing bits and pieces in. Now I've done that one. Let's have a look. I'm going to try it this way. It's back in the pocket there. And I've put some lovely lace on the other side of the page with some embroidery on glay trim. Which I thought would set it off nicely. There's more of my splattered and stenciled pa paper. I did this actually in the summer. Um, in the garden, I laid it on the lawn to dry and sprayed it on the lawn actually. <laughs> um, on this side we've got a bit of uh, some stenciling that I've done on the page. It's only faintly, this is meant for journaling on. Don't be put off by that, you can't. This is meant to be written on. Um, on most pens will show up on that. Little tag on there and some pretty trim down there. And I've tried to keep similar colours going through the whole journal. And there's another stenciled page. This is uh, from the one of the digitals I printed off, which is really pretty, obviously, of a um, paint box. Uh, I can't think what you call them now. Um, when you try your colours out, my sorry, words have gone this evening. Words have absolutely gone. Got a lovely little feather there. More stenciling, and this is this is sprayed on stenciling, and this is obviously what I've stenciled on with inks. A nice little piece of lace trim down there, pink to go with the page. We have some really boho looking paper. That's from another digital, um, which has been printed out onto almost cardstock and then splattered with gold acrylic paint. A little tiny pocket here with a couple of tags in. And uh, once again, there's plenty of room for journaling there. Lots of journaling space. This you can put another pocket on, or you could uh, and you can put some more trim on it if you want to. Um, or you could cover it over with a plain sheet and journal on it or just stick a picture on there or just leave it as it is these once again are stenciled quite lightly so they can be journaled on nice little piece of lace trimmed down the bottom to go with the green there's some more um stenciling that i did for some gold acrylic and there's a little lace pocket and some lace trim down there. And there's journaling card. And this little 
it's it's like a little coin envelope really but I decided to put a tag in it and you can um, put something else in it if you want to you could clip it to the page whatever you want to do with it and there's another little baby journaling card to go in there with the pink to match side of that page there's more here once again you could put a pot pocket on or uh you could probably write on it i think with the right with a dark pen um whatever you want to it's quite a thick paper so that's not too bad to write on plenty more journaling space it's a little oh i was just gonna say i've got an empty pocket which is very unusual for me but it's not this little tiny very hippie tag there it's more of my sprayed paper this time it was coffee dyed and then sprayed and a little bit of washi tape up in the corner there just for a bit of an accent another little pocket and a little card in it Have a little bit of washi tape, more stenciling, more journaling space, more journaling space. This is another, I know what they're called, they're called swatches. Another, it's like a swatch or somebody practicing the colours out of a watercolour paint box, which has been stenciled over, I've stenciled over it. And a nice piece of bright red lace down there. More stenciling and gold splattering. This is just a little piece that I added in. And that's more journaling space there. And a little tag to pull it down with. More journaling space and some pretty sparklies in the corner and a little sparkly there. Another pocket here. And here I've stenciled this, it's like a splatter stencil. And that says, live with love and you'll create art. There's two tags in here. Both with plenty of room to write on the back. Once again, the boho looking thing. And this one has a lovely little acrylic moon. And that one's got some sparkly bits. There's another nice little acrylic charm up here. A star and some more sparkly bits. That's just a little lace tag put on the side. That's that's not a pocket, that's just a picture on there. <coughs> just to give it added interest. Uh, another stencil sheet. Uh, another journaling spot. Another journaling spot with a little page edge cluster. Uh, we've got a pocket here that's got a tag in the back. And there's a tag there in that pocket. A little tag there and a little tag in that pocket at the bottom and these as you can see were made from book pages and decorated up with more gel printed sheets and decorated over to this page we've got um some more sparkly bits another lovely little um Sorry, lost my words tonight. Another lovely little charm. It's a sunburst charm. The little um, boho looking picture down there. Nice lace tag to it and more writing space. And there's a little book. It's got a lovely little dream catcher charm on it. Which is sort of multicolored metallic. Lovely little booklet, uh, just made up of scrap pieces. To 
be used <clears throat> for collage. And there's a bit of lace in the pocket. There's a little paint tube. Another butterfly. And here we've got um, another pocket, a lovely lace pocket. With a nice large journaling card in it. That's got some lace across the top. That's a lovely piece that. That turns over and the lace continues this side. And then it's uh, an envelope, as you can see, with two pretty little tags in it for journaling on it once again. Another sheet with a swatch on it. Now this is a nice big bright red clip that holds in. Now oh, here we've got lots of journaling space as you can see. Excuse me, this has got... So I've not long had my dinner, excuse me. <laughs> um, a lovely little butterfly charm on it. And this opens out to reveal loads of journaling space. <clears throat> this is lovely strong coffee dyed paper. I think it's 200 grams that paper. And if you turn it over, it makes a really pretty picture on that side. And that clips in there. Once again, you can clip it anywhere you want to. I chose the nice red one to go with the red lace. As I said, I have tried to keep a lot of the colours in tune with each other, so to speak. Lots of journaling space, more journaling space. This is out of an art book that I've made into a little pocket. Oh, I'm trying to pull the pocket off now. And there's a nice journaling card with Inspire stenciled on it. Another one of our lovely little ooh, dream catcher. There we go. Dream catcher charms. And that sits in there in that pocket. More from the art book. More of the digital and more stenciling and gold splattering, more gold splattering, stenciling, a bit of lace. This is some more of that lovely Broderie on Glow Trim. A very nice sunburst, gold sunburst. This is from, um, I think this is from yet another digital. And that flips up and there's more journaling space there and there. There's another side pocket, another journaling card with a wind, wind, uh, wind chime, I was going to say, <laughs> with a dream catcher charm on it, once again with Inspire on it, and these are circular pockets. With little tags in them that can be written on. I thought they were rather cute. There are some much smaller ones. But I'm going to include an ephemera pack with each journal. So those will be in the ephemera pack amongst quite a lot of other things um, in the ephemera pack. I'll be including including some of the um, leftover um, chipboard um, little, uh, what, what would you call them? They're, they're like little pieces of chipboard with 
pictures on from the Stamperia uh, papers that the, this was actually taken from. Um, I'll show you later in the next video when I've got the pack sorted out. I'll show them to you. Well, there's several of those in there. More journaling space. That was just really pretty. I didn't really want to cover it up. You can if you want to, obviously, but I decided to leave. I just loved the colour of it. And now we've got the middle pages, which is, as you see, lace, um, rip-crack braiding, um, oranges and blues, turquoises, pinks, the lot. We've got the lovely little... Uh, flowers repeated here that were on the cover and it's been decorated more bling lots of bling and there's a nice big tag in this pocket with happy days on it and that's got a nice little moon charm on it she says when she can get it turned around and show you there we go little moon charm with a heart in it a really pretty, pretty card. And there's the tag that goes on the other side. Well, it's a large journaling card, really. It's um, a bit big to be a tag, isn't it? And these are decorated with lace. And the lace is taken across the bottom and off to the ends as well. Another piece of that paper, the other side that I couldn't cover up. It was just too nice. More journaling space. We've got another flip out here, which is a piece of multicoloured paper that I thought would go perfectly with the theme of the journal, the colour theme of it. Which I've made into a flip out, put a little tab with a little um, flower on it. And this side, let me show you, this side is stenciled. And there's some more of that pretty splashed paper that I splattered myself with paints and things one day. Uh, it's up to you if you want to cover that or not. Another little pocket, side pocket with a, another journaling card. My art written on it and it's stamped. There's a piece of uh, sari silk tied around that. And this little corner is decorated with some bling. Another lovely charm. And a little note out of the art book. Or stenciling. That, once again, well, this this is, is just too beautiful to cover. And, and I thought that picture was too. That's out of the art book and that's a painting, watercolour painting. And of course that's the other side of it, but I thought that would add interest. More journaling space that's been stenciled on. Another pocket for the pretty little boho motif there. And a pretty tag. And another one with a lovely little charm on it and nice lace tabs to it. More of this lovely stenciling and gold splattering. Another one of these little round pockets. A couple of little circular tags in it. We've got another, got the same as on the front, but not glazed. It's um, a palette, paint palette that can be written on. A tag, which we decorate with a flower, as you can see. Pretty piece of lace, a paint tube, and a butterfly. More of my splattered paper. I think it's really pretty. 
for stenciling. Another page edge cluster. Say that when you've had a few. Page edge cluster. And some of that lovely Brogium glow. That's just purely decoration, doesn't have anything in it. More stenciling. Just a pretty little caravan. That's out of the, once again, out of the art book that I've stenciled over the top of that. Another stencil page. Just more of that lovely red lace. And I love this lovely green and red, the way it's blended together there. The stenciling, I really enjoyed doing that. Little tag in the pocket. Another coffee dyed and sprayed and stenciled page, which can be used for anything, but I just thought the colours were beautiful. I didn't want to cover it up. And I've uh, repeated the colours in inks in this page. Another one of my paint splatter pages, but with some stenciling over the top as well. Here's another one of these multi pockets. It's got a journal card in the back. Little tag there. Little tag there. And this little one down here. And a pretty little butterfly there. Some more pink lace. There's another pink lace pocket. Once again, to match the front one, it's got the gold stenciling on it and some pink stenciling that side, the pink lace. And in this side, we've got a pretty floral tag. Popping back in. Another tag here with a pretty little charm on it, which matches the, actually I don't think that's sari silk, is it? It's, um, yes, it is sari silk, yeah, yeah it is. Some more sari silk there, and I thought those two went together really well. And there's a little booklet that opens out and there's a tag in the back tag in the front and the same here little tag in the back and a little tag in the front This once again was made from an art book page that's been I've decorated. More journaling space. This is a pocket uh, that was made in the concertina style. I believe I did do a video on making these, I believe. Um, making them from, uh, they're made from a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper. Um, and I made two out of each sheet. The other one is in the other book. And that's got a tag in the back. So it's pretty set of colouring pencils tag in the middle. And another tag in the front. And we've kept the purple going with a little purple flower there. There's a flower up there and I've done this with a lovely, it's a bit like a Greek key, isn't it? this um, design on the ribbon 
and to reflect that on this side I've done this it's like a diagonal belly band but there's a little corner tuck to hold everything in place and in there we've got this flip out this was um this is like a parchment this was done uh i think it was one of roxy's weekly challenges i can't remember what she called them you know roxy from roxy creations um she did a does weekly challenges and this is what she did one week so i thought i'd have a go and yeah i do like them and there's lots more journaling space there and this is really pretty and art stuff and that's all been decorated up really really pretty that opens out into like a little window which is so lovely the, these papers are just so so gorgeous and tucked in the corner there is another one of our little it's a little notebook and pieces of paper for collaging. Little flip up pen, flippy pad thing. And that's got another one of those lovely little dream catchers on it. They sit nicely in there and the pinks are reflected across the page, which is nice. All of that lovely boho paper. All stenciled, got a lovely big um, dream catcher there, which is a, a die cut, which I made. More of the swatch page. More stenciled paper to write on. More stenciled, more of that trim. And there's the corresponding, the front, the lovely wide white lace trim with the broderie on glow. It's a pretty little tag thing up there. And, um, no, it's not quite the back one. I didn't, I thought it was, but it's not. And this pocket holds two lovely tags with plenty of bling on them that one's got another lovely little charm and there's another one of those little booklets with the collage paper and the writing paper And then the final page, which is really, really beautiful on that side. And on this side, you have another one of these triple pockets, if you will. It's got a little tag in the front. The other one in the middle with some gold around it. <coughs> Excuse my voice. And another one in the back. And this one has got the side pocket to it with another journaling card in it. And that is the first one. And as I say, they're quite um <laughs> how do you say it? they're very eclectic. Uh they're very, very full. They've got absolutely, as you saw, stacks of things in them. Loads of journaling cards, tags, journaling spots, booklets, notebooks. They're, they're, they're beautiful. They really are beautiful. Um, and this is, of course, is all machine round. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I think, because it's... 
that's taken a little while to get through that lot um yeah i will do the other one in the next video i think and that'll be the best idea so uh anyway thank you very much for joining me it's been lovely having you here and um yeah i'll be back shortly with the next one with the second one the second boho art journal so thank you for joining me and take care everybody and i'll see you in the next one bye bye